Tonight, a Charlotte mom has a dire warning after her 15 year old daughter died from COVID complications. That child, Alyssa Simmons, had multi system inflammatory syndrome in children. It's also called Miss C. Her family now urging others to look out for signs and symptoms and also to get vaccinated. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner shares their story. This was our most recent picture. She was a very sweet girl, very loving. 15 year old Alyssa Simons had plans. When she finished high school, she wanted to be a fashion designer. She didn't want a 16th birthday party, so we started planning a family trip. Plans for her sophomore year at North Mac High School and to get her driver's That's license. Straighten your will out. You all over the place. Plans that were cut short. Her mom, Jeanette Reevy, hopeful sharing their loss can save another life. She was complaining about her stomach, so like people were telling her it's just a stomach virus, but it was something a little bigger than that. The entire family got COVID in March, but Alyssa was asymptomatic. Weeks later, she had back pains and a stomach ache. Her mom says she was diagnosed with multi-system inflammatory syndrome, a rare but serious condition the CDC says is linked to COVID. That was the first time I ever heard of it. She oh, wants more parents to know the signs and symptoms. <laughs> On June 28th, Alyssa died from complications. I'm gonna just miss a hug, a kiss, uh, just conversations with her. And it's, it's everything, <laughs> everything. Kids Alyssa's age weren't eligible to get vaccinated when she had COVID in March and much of her family was hesitant. But now they've all gotten the shots and they're urging others to think about doing the same. Reconsider, you might be saving your life or your child life. Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Just a heartbreaking story. We know it's a really personal decision, but if you still need to get the COVID vaccine or you are on the fence, we have a whole lot of information and resources about the shot, where to find one, and much more on our website, wcnc.com.